Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the Javelin FAW Mark IX. This is a currently rank 6 battle rating 8.3 fighter in the British Air Tech Tree. And this is quite honestly one of the most unique aircraft, one of the weirdest aircraft in War Thunder, despite its fairly conventional-ish looks. So this vehicle, just mind you, this is actually a user skin, so just want to get that out of the way. You can get that on War Thunder Live. But this vehicle has has two afterburning engines. And you might be thinking to yourself, afterburners, 8.3 BR, this must be one of the faster vehicles. And in a way it is, in a way it isn't. So you will be able to get up to altitude with this thing, like four or 5,000 meters pretty easily. But as you can see, it has a fairly low max speed. And basically, once you get beyond that max speed, your wings start shaking uncontrollably. And if you get sufficiently beyond that, they will rip. If you turn beyond that, a lot of the time your wings will rip as well so it's really really weird also its rate of climb isn't really all that fantastic it's actually pretty comparable with a lot of non afterburning engines albeit the better ones like on later models of sabers and mix either way this vehicle also has two aiden cannons although you can have up to four aiden cannons but that would limit you to two fire streaks. Now these fire streaks, you get four of them, which at 8.3 BR is pretty good. They are better at close range than an AIM 9B might get, which is what you have at around this BR. You do have a few planes with AIM 9Bs. However, these things have very little range. So it's a, again, a really weird aircraft, but those 20 or the uh, 30 millimeter Aiden cannons are sufficient. You don't need four, two is plenty. And I think that the additional fire streaks make up for it so that being said let's get up into the sky with this thing this is again a really weird aircraft but i am really excited to play it that said let's get into it okay so here we are getting into the battle and let's just go over some of the problems i have with this vehicle just off the bat now some of the weaknesses of this vehicle probably be a more diplomatic way of actually saying that so these 20 or these 30s are radical by the way uh, but one of the big problems with this vehicle is that, like, watch as I drop down here and go into a dive. You are going to see this thing gain a good amount of speed, but then all of a sudden it won't be able to really do much with it. So, also the fire streaks, not bad, but they have minimal range, uh, to say the least. But we have this guy here. Ooh, am I gonna hit him? No, I'm not. Uh, now, one good thing is that they actually slave to the, uh, to the radar. Got a kill. Very nice. Woo! That was close. I don't have any more, huh? That sucks. But, you're not going to ever see it where fire streaks, uh, like, look how much energy I just burned right there. Fire streaks typically are not going to hit an enemy if it's more than about a kilometer and a half away, which really, really sucks. Um, obviously, that's a big, big problem. Now, another thing, again, as I mentioned before, at least I think I mentioned before, is that the energy retention on this thing is just booty. The 30 millimeter cannons I like a lot, however, eh. They're not fantastic, and mind you, I'm not doing very well here, but not doing absolutely terrible, but hopefully I can at least use this video to kind of get my points across. Now, once this vehicle is damaged, you will have... And bear in mind, my engines are really, really damaged, so I'm going to crash. But bear in mind, like, this thing will oftentimes, even with full engines, fully uh, okay engines, you will still crash uh, simply because you just do not have enough thrust to actually keep yourself airborne. Or it'll stall you out and then crash because this vehicle has a very high stall speed, which is a big problem. But overall, I mean, not absolutely terrible as a first match. But again, I think, in my opinion, the biggest weaknesses of this aircraft are quite simply the fact that it has a really really low top speed for having the engines that it has the fire streaks have a very low range and once you start taking damage of course this was a little bit different because my engines took damage but even with fully operating engines no damage on the engines you will slow down tremendously it is ridiculous 
ridiculous. Like, the aerodynamics on this thing, once they are broken a little bit by being perforated, your plane is going down. So I said, let's get into another match, see if we can do a little bit better, but not terrible to start. But uh, if my fire streaks actually had maybe even a half kilometer longer range, I probably would have had four kills. Now, as I hope was made a little bit obvious in that last match, this thing has awful energy retention. I mean, it is around as bad, if not possibly even worse, than a MiG-21. So it's, it's really, really bad. And one of the problems with it, again, with this vehicle, is that, let's say if I were to launch on that B-57 up there, right? Not too big of a deal. But when it comes down to, let's say, going after... A, a random plane, like that Lobochkin 200, that LA-200 over there, very fast, or like a MiG-15, very fast. This thing is slow enough where I probably won't be able to get into range, which again, if you're behind somebody, is likely going to be... Well, you know what? I'm going to launch on him, see if this will actually hit. Maybe? Be okay, good. Because he's taking a turn, it's also a big target, not very fast, so it did work. But as you can see, I also have very low energy right now. Partially because I used it up actually turning there. It might not seem like it, but that was partially what happened. So I'm diving down now, obviously, in this MiG-15. Air brakes on this thing, not terrible, not bad. Uh, but they could use some work. Obviously, there's not going to be any differences in them ever in this game. But hey, who knows, right? So can I launch? Uh, that was a little ugly. Okay, he's coming up. Didn't get a hit. Got a hit. And got another hit. Somehow that did not kill him. And I got the kill. Very nice. Not going to say that that was a stolen kill because no way in hell it was. I did the work for it. Um, let's see. Kind of want to launch on that CL-13 there just so I can get some more SL. Now, one of the other big problems with this vehicle is that the repair cost is absurd. It's something like 12 or 13... Actually, no, I think it's a touch over 13,000. Which, in my opinion, at least, is just ridiculous. Right? So we have an F-80C here. Can I hit him? I can. Got a third kill. Although I got very lucky there. F-86. Okay, this F-80 whatever behind me is kind of a big deal. Again, you lose energy and you just don't gain it back quickly enough, at least in my opinion. Ooh, I'm getting ugly! Okay, you know what? I'll take it. That was kind of ugly, though, but again, some of the biggest issues with this aircraft, and this will be a real quick gameplay, mind you. Maybe another match. Maybe two. We'll see. But it's... You lose speed incredibly quickly because this thing is like a giant kite. Like, Magnus... Like, take the MiG-21 and multiply its energy losses by a little bit, and then don't give it enough engine power to be able to recover quickly enough. This thing probably loses energy quicker than a base level MiG-21, but doesn't gain it back nearly as quickly. So that said, let's get into another match, see what we could do, but not terrible. Two kills, one assist, first match, four kills, second match. And again, fire streaks, take it as you are. They're not all that great. Oh yeah, and just before we actually get into the uh, the actual match match here, like actual fight, um, a few other things. This thing gets up tiered pretty much all the time. Um, second, the fire streaks aren't bad. They do have a little bit better maneuverability compared to, let's say, Aim 9 bs However, they don't have the range, and they uh, they lose sight pretty quickly of the enemy. Even though maneuverability is okay. And the 30mm cannons obviously are very powerful, but if it were me, I'd rather have the F9F8, which can carry four AIM-9Bs at this BR, although maybe not, at least with their current 20mm cannons. Not entirely sure, but again, not saying that having four missiles at 8.3 BR sucks, because these can definitely do some work. And I've gotten four, I think three or four kills in a match with the missiles alone. However, they are not at all perfect because they have hardly any range. Okay, so we have an F-84F down here. The roll rate on this thing, by the way, is fantastic. So if this uh, if this sob can turn, that'd be fantastic. And he is! No, no, he is not. 
So I got to put my air brakes on, slow this thing down again, and it's not going to be enough. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Oh, got a critical hit, but he killed my buddy. Ah, uh, farts. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can launch. Look at all that speed I lost, by the way. Just absolutely horrible. Uh, you know what? Should I waste it on him? Eh, I think I will, just because I'm a jerk. And it doesn't hit! It doesn't hit! It doesn't hit! Okay, holy guacamole! But as you can see, this thing has absolutely no energy left at this point. It, I mean, seriously, like, it is a big problem with this aircraft. It's pretty much on a uh, on a dogfight to dogfight basis. You have no energy left at the end of a dogfight, even if you're diving down, which is a um, you know a pretty big issue with this thing. Oop, got the kill, but I'm gonna turn around. Hopefully, this will be a. You know what? Can I even turn around? I might launch a, a missile on this guy if I am so lucky. Maybe I won't be. But I'll just kind of show you guys here, actually, what I mean. So, my engines are still fine. But my plane is not. Uh, and, obviously, I'm not really gaining much speed, even on full afterburners. And I've actually had it before, where somehow even less damage than this, primarily if it's concentrated on the wings, it actually makes me crash. Uh, you know, or stall out. It's just absolutely uh, ridiculous in, in many ways. So I'm going to try to land here, um, or actually, you know what? I might even have to go for this F9F. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, time to turn away. Took some more damage. Can I hit this guy? This bot? Probably not. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Play one more match. Because I'm going to die here. But again, I mean, a lot of this gameplay, I've actually had it before. Uh, recently, actually. Oh, and this is what I mean. When you take sufficient damage, I mean, this thing is pretty much going to crash now. But I can hardly even stay up. But I've had enough people kind of mention to me recently, like, Hey, Tankenstein, you don't really go over the same stuff that you did before. And, um, you know, like strengths, weaknesses, all that. That's a good point, and I'm trying to do that in this video, even despite the fact that, obviously, my matches are not going all so well. But that's, that's part of it, you know? Like, of course, there's gameplay where it is extremely entertaining and very good. And, you know, some people can kind of pull off everything, right? Like, tell you what the strengths and weaknesses are, make it entertaining. Deffen, for example, he's, he's like a jack-of-all-trades and a master of all as well, right? right? Like, he can do everything, but... You know, of course, I don't really care so much about the polish, which is probably one of the reasons why my views are so low, but I want to show you guys the reality of these aircraft. They're not bad. The Javelin is good, and of course, I make a good amount of mistakes, some on purpose, some not, in these uh, videos to kind of show you some points. But um, yeah, let's get into one more match, I guess a fourth match, because they've been pretty quick thus far, and that'll be it, but... Not terrible, but uh, bear in mind, pretty much all of these matches have been one after the other after the other, and I've not gotten less or fewer than two kills in a majority of up tiers. So not all too terrible. So I'm going to have to go use some 30s on this guy, because I'm not going to be able to get the uh, kill otherwise. Got the kill! He just erupted in flames! Now that's one of the things about this plane that is really good. If there are any bombers out there, this thing will typically be able to actually intercept them pretty well. Which, if I'm not mistaken, was actually its main purpose. It's actually a pretty damn good interceptor. Uh, also, it's not all that bad of a turner. It can turn pretty decently, too. It's just, again, once you get kind of close to lower, you know, ranges, you're fighting quicker turning aircraft, whatever the case may be, right? Like, there's enough things with this where it's like, eh, you know, it does this well, but, you know, it does other things not so well. I'm just going to fire. Hopefully I can hit him. Going on down. Ooh, I got to gotta slow down. I was going over 1,100 kilometers per hour. 
which, if you guys don't know, is a big no-no with this thing. But again, I mean, this thing, it's not bad at all. Um, rather, it's something that you really have to uh, finesse, I guess you could say, right? Like, you have to make sure that you're using this thing to the fullest of its capabilities, or, uh, you know, or make it clean, I guess you could say. I'm going to try to fire on this guy. Won't hit him, of course. Okay, can I hit him with my 30s? Because that appears to be what I'm going to get most of my kills with. Because, of course, it is. Oh, God, I'm just going to try to fire on him now. And really close range as well does not seem to actually work with these. Can I actually... You know what? Why am I chasing this fella? Got the kill, finally. Not terrible, not bad. Two kills. Again, it's not like this is a bad aircraft. I'm not saying it is. I actually have had a good amount of fun with this aircraft, but you have to respect its limits. That is a huge, huge problem with this thing, is that it is a very limited aircraft in a lot of different ways. Okay, this guy almost clearly does not have... Okay, he's dead. I was going to say, he pretty clearly... Like, look at my energy bleed, by the way, my speed bleed right now. I just dropped something like 300 kilometers per hour, taking around a 270-degree turn. And now I'm not really... I'm getting it back quickly enough, but not all too quickly. But that's one of those things, as I was just saying, you really have to respect the limits of this thing. Because it doesn't have a great top speed, so your plane will break apart pretty damn quickly. It doesn't... It's got a pretty good turning radius, or a good turn rate, rather. But if you're going too fast, and I've had this happen numerous times, your wings will rip. Uh, let's say above 950, you really have to start being careful about it. Uh, your fire streak missiles have a terrible range, and typically will not hit if you're within, or if you're outside of, um, I would say, 1.5, maybe even 1.3 kilometers range and even still if you're too close they'll just go right across or around your enemy which sucks so i'm gonna actually try to demonstrate this here for you um maybe i can hit i'm just gonna launch 1.5 maybe this will be good because he's getting a little close yeah so i will hit but a lot of the time it won't be successful but thus far i mean i'm not doing terribly this is a good enough vehicle where you can get yourself a lot of points a lot of points. You can get yourself a lot of score with this vehicle. And again, ew, that was ugly. I've had a ton of fun playing it. But you have to respect your limits. That is a hugely important thing. And, um, you know, if somebody tells you that the Javelin sucks, I don't think it does. But it is limited, you know. And I'd probably rather, if I'm looking for a missile carrier, I'd probably rather use the F9F8. However, which by the way, I do have a gameplay for. However, if I'm looking for something that has better cannons, I would actually rather have this. You know, um, it does still have afterburners, which are nice, even though you really have to, like, I'm not even, like, look at my wing shaking, by the way. Not using my afterburners. I'm just about 700 meters up, and it'll probably tell me to reduce speed very soon. And again, this is the last match, so if my wings rip, it's just so you guys can see. It's for the science of it all. Reduce speed, reduce speed. Yeah, I'm going to reduce speed. So, I'm assuming this match is over. Oh, and by the way, I don't get any bombs or any CAS. Anything with this. So, it is, uh, you know, this is pretty much just something to destroy other planes. And really, it's really good at destroying big planes. By the way, thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm assuming this is the end of it. Not a terrible, not terrible matches. And, uh, you know, it's got a lot of capability. It's just you have to respect its limits. So thanks again, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Either way, thanks again. I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.